This is a quick video on two of the last couple of days in February, the first couple of days of February. Starts off uh, looking at how inside the car, just in Sydney, and it's 48 degrees. It was actually 50 degrees by the time I, I got the camera out to photograph it. This is the external temperature. Uh, this is driving around Penrith in Australia, so it actually gets quite hot here out in Australia. But we're going to take you on a tour of. Um, come on. Uh, to around here and this is around um, Circular Quay this is the really famous part of um, Australia this is the Chinese New Year and uh, there are various Chinese zodiac signs so there are 12 um, signs of the zodiac so we've got um, Sagittarius, Cancer etc they have Monkey etc and various artists are commissioned. In the background there is an original uh, cottage of the, uh, I suppose, the harbour master who was in charge up to around 1845. That's the cottage at the back there. I found that a little bit more interesting than this um, artist impression of these playful monkeys. There's one one. Next we'll go over here we can actually We'll play the actual music of it. And so it's got the peach in it. And the peach represents wealth in China, apparently. So the next picture here is um, of a huge inflatable tiger. Uh, and the zodiac sign on the head is a symbol for a tiger, a very famous symbol. It represents power uh, in China. You can see some of the skyscrapers going up in the back of Sydney at the back, and you can see the sort of green the peak. And this person, artist, has made the peak out of a square um, lattice with lights on the inside of it. It's sort of a bit conceptual at the back. You can see yeah, the toaster, a dreadful Hong Kong skyscraper at the back. Harbour Bridge, and you can see through to the Harbour Bridge. And this is the the dog. These are large dogs, artistically uh, produced. So there, the actual tongue moves. Let's see how the skyscrapers going up. Is it and the person who's the community auto tour reading in the front about it? So the dog has a sort of a um, Chinese. Um, waistcoat on, I suppose. That's very gross. This is another picture showing how the actual trimming of the um, coat is illuminated, as well as the inside of the dog is illuminated. You see people walking around there. And this is the dragon. At the back is the old maritime hospital um, built there. And the idea is that. Um, someone stole a gem from the inside of the Chinese dragon and a little boy and this gem makes it rain. Very, very confused overall story. This is about the um, head weighs several tons up at the top there and the, it's all internally illuminated, inflated, um, all variations of different themes. Chinese calligraphy and art and colouring things to go through. This is just some of the pictures of people sort of trying to wonder what is going on and the slight picture of it. And now we're walking up towards the year of the rat and there's interpretation of various mechanical rats. As we come a little bit closer, these rats are gold with the Chinese good luck symbol and they have. Um, Sort of this, um, a sci-fi sort of super rats on a mechanical platform. Here's a, another picture up. You can see the skyscrapers in Sydney going up at the back of it. So this is now the ox. The ox is on a wisdom stone or some sort of intellect stone. You can see some of the Sydney Harbour um, ferries in the background. People walking in around looking at it. So this is a, a huge ox inflated in the background. Is to use the Year of the Ox, so there'll be a new um, uh, exhibit for it. So every <coughs> 12 exhibits, and they replace four exhibits every year. 
significa you you see you always miss something you miss you do it once every three years basically and get good view this is coming back to the snake so there's the overpass there's a huge freeway at the back of um, Sydney um, Circular Quay it's actually called Semi-Circular Quay but people left it and the person reading the various artists which are commissioned for it and this is a large snake there's a snake's head and there's a um, upside down good luck written in its eye and the reason it's upside down is it's falling off the page into your lap good luck right nice uh, origin here this is the three golden three sheep of different chinese colors a jade some blue and chinese red and you can see some dancers um, dragon dancers at the top posing in the back there it's posing for a photograph there and these people are um, i don't know why to that photograph just off the side um i'm sort of in the background there you can see the ugly buildings uh, that they've erected around the edge of the harbour there uh, and uh, this is one of the dragon dancers and the people um feeling the various aspects of it it's a a vision paired tour for the exit around there it's actually getting quite dark at the moment you can see this is the harbour bridge in the background with some flags on and the my admiration goes out for the back of the uh, drag and the dancer there because they have to be far more active to get going through so you can actually walk through the sheep there was some artistic idea that it was a paper folded sheep you walk through and then a little bit later on you've got these um, robot horses sort of icons sort of almost Babylonian horses and you can see it's very much computer printed computer printed arms and then just they've just selected different colours for the fabrics to put up there. What well, several times this bring up a, a huge folded paper um, rabbit. So the horse, the rabbits, uh, one things there. And this was folded from a um, favoured Chinese sweet, papered sweet, called rabbit sweet. And this all mixed up then. And then finally, um, which I think is by far the best, you can see this you have a bridge at the back and this uh, illuminated um, rooster with all these glowing good luck eggs. Very, fairly complicated uh, way it's called. And there it is again. So I'm looking at the back of that rooster, seeing themselves at the back there. And that ends the show. Uh, these are all Sydney Circular Key, beautiful. Um, it's always got atmosphere, temperature, um, a sea breeze, a feel of vibrant harbour. And you add to this the Chinese New Year. Thanks for listening.